homophobe renal cell carcinomas account for around 5% of all renal epithelial neoplasms and they are slightly more frequent in males than females and they can occur at any age from childhood through to elderly and they occur slightly more frequently in the Middle East. Importantly, chromophobe renal cell carcinomas have a much better prognosis than conventional clear cell renal cell carcinomas. There are a couple of syndromes that are associated with chromophobe RCCs. These are Cowden syndrome and Berthog-Dubé syndrome. And in Berthog-Dubé syndrome, 34% of renal tumours in these patients are chromophobe. The tumours are often incidental findings, but they can present with flank pain, hematuria, a mass and occasionally weight loss. They are usually solitary, typically well circumscribed with a light brown cut surface and the mean size is around 8 cm in diameter. This is the gross appearance of a chromophobe. It has a pale brown yellowish cut surface and it is quite well circumscribed. Chromophobe RCCs are composed of two main cell types. The usual cell has a rather transparent clear cytoplasm that is slightly flocculent and the other cell type is the eosinophilic variant with pink staining cytoplasm. But two really characteristic features of chromophobes are a plant-like cell membrane and a perinuclear halo in the eosinophilic variant. The nuclei are rather crumpled looking, resembling raisins, hence the term raisinoid nuclei. So this is the histology of a typical chromophobe RCC. The cytoplasm is clear and flocculent and the cell membranes are very prominent, resembling the cell walls of plants. And this is an example of the eosinophilic variant of a chromophobe with its pink staining cytoplasm. On higher power, the rather crumpled outline of the nuclei can be appreciated, giving them this raisinoid appearance. And here is the other important histological feature distinguishing chromophobe RCCs from other types, and that is the prominent perinuclear halos. Sometimes it can be very challenging to distinguish histologically between an eosinophilic chromophobe renal cell carcinoma and an oncocytoma, particularly if it is just a kidney biopsy. And in such situations, immuno can be really useful, particularly CK7, where chromophobe RCCs show strong positive staining, but oncocytomas show minimal staining. Chromophobe RCCs also show positive staining with CD117, PAX8 and epithelial membrane antigen. Stains for Vimentin, CK20 and race maze are negative. Another stain that may be useful sometimes is Hale's colloidal iron. This will have been particularly so in the days before Immuno was widely available. One important point when reporting chromophobe RCCs is that in contrast to conventional clear cell renal cell carcinomas where they are graded according to nuclear criteria, it is recommended that nuclei are not graded in chromophobe RCCs. This chromophobe RCC shows strong staining with CK7 as expected.
there is positive staining with CD117. and absence of staining for race maze.